Okay. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Just keep around. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Can you tell us what we are about to eat? Absolutely. The pork is based on a dish called lechon kawali, a traditional Filipino recipe. And then it comes with a pickled papaya salad, steamed um, jasmine rice. And then you have three different dipping sauces. This is absolutely delicious. Thank you. I really, really, really love it. But most importantly, what do the investors think, Jane? I think the, the combination of flavour is amazing. Very interesting. I have never eaten Filipino-inspired food before. Maurice? It's superb. It's the sort of food that I could, I could eat twice a week. It's hearty. It's delicious. It's fresh. You know, you charge me nine, ten pounds for this. Right. The time has come. I've got to tell you, I'm always the most investment potential and who therefore is going to go to Manchester to run the pop-up for a couple of days. So the business that's going through is Fabio Dreams. Fabio Dreams themselves and their business plan were quite humble, which was very ambitious. It was actually a really, really tough decision. In the end, I think we came to Barbecue Dreams, primarily because the food was among the best food I've had this year, and I felt very strongly that if they could deliver that consistently, that was kind of a compelling...